everyone. So today I have got a scrapbook.com uh, haul. Now, um, before I get started, as you can see here, I have my Rode mic, which I was going to put onto my camera because I've noticed that the sound quality is not good. That's mostly because one, I'm sitting literally next to the air conditioning unit, um, the central air. Um, it's right on the other side of the wall that's to my left so when it pops on the sound is just horrible I understand that so I think the best thing for me to do is to just get as close as I can to the camera um, when I'm filming also um, when I try to put the road mic on um, I'm having a problem because of the fact that I have my camera overhead and um, where this plug is it's actually um, right next to where I have to swivel the screen so that I can um, put it, you know, put things in focus and it's just not going to work. So I guess I'm just going to have to not use the road mic for now. That sucks because I really want to improve the quality, um, the audio quality of my camera and I can't really mount it on the camera because then it would be facing down and that's not good. So anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. So I put in an order for scrapbook.com over the weekend and my stuff came in. This is my second order within less than a month. It's just crazy. I mean, I don't normally order from scrapbook.com and yet there's been some stuff on there that has really caught my eye. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and ordered it from there rather than from a cherry on top because the shipping was cheaper. So this is the stuff. Okay, so let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, I guess let's just move this. Oh, here comes the, air, the AC. So sorry if um, it gets to be really loud. I'm going to try to avoid putting music on the background. That's the reason why I put music in the background is to kind of drown out that sound. But I just, I was listening to one of my videos that I uploaded recently and I just hated the way it sounded. So yeah, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do that. I'll just move closer to the camera and hopefully the microphone will um, pick up my voice a lot better until I can figure out my sound settings on this M50. So I bought a lot of paper again and some of them are duplicates. So um, let's go ahead and flip through some of this. So this is from the, um, this is from Prima. And this is from the Salvage District Collection. And this one's called Palace Garden. Oh, I wasn't looking up at my positioning here. Okay. So just very worn looking, I guess you could say like wallpaper, but very vintage looking. And then this is the back side. Okay. And then we've got, I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Let's move this over. Okay. Then we've got this one here. This is um, also Prima. It's from the Midnight Garden Collection. And this has got foil um, on it, I think as you can see. It's beautiful. Um, at first I thought these were cut aparts when I was looking on the website, but now that I see it in person, no, I don't think you can really cut these apart. <laughs> and I had bought, looks like I bought two. I love the backside of this too. So, yeah, I got two of those. Okay. Uh, this one is also from Prima. It's from the Waterfall Floral Collection. This is called Watercolor Drops. Um, very beautiful. Like you could, you could cut these up, cut these out if you wanted to. Um, maybe use like a, a circle punch, you know. I think these are probably about two inches. And then this is the back side, which is also beautiful. One thing about Prima, it's like um, Graphic 45, like the, the card stock is really thick and nice. Although Graphic 45 I think has like the best quality I've seen. Okay, another foiled one and this is in rose gold. This is Poetic Rose uh, Collection from the Poetic Rose Collection and this is Royal Command. I mean look at that, that's just gorgeous as you can see. Okay, and then this is the back side love this because it's got the music notes, um, the music paper on there. Um, I should have bought two because <laughs> I, I like both sides. So, 
and then we have here also from the watercolor uh, floral collection these are cut aparts um, this has some foil on it so confidence has no competition I'm yours no returnees just a girl growing wings um, her soul is fierce her heart is brave her mind is strong and then fearlessly authentic so these are beautiful oh, and then here's the back side again beautiful also rose quartz collection from Prima this is um, foiled and it's like a very um, vintage looking globe as you can see map of the world and then um, this is the back side almost looks I would want to say almost looks like a map in a way but I don't know I don't know what that was supposed to be this one is from guard uh, the Golden Coast I'm sorry summer feeling and this has gold foil so the cut aparts salty but sweet find me at the beach island vibes uh, I find paradise with you oh paradise you know feeling golden um, that's just some of the sayings on there and again beautiful on the back now I am um, here's some of the um, Maggie Holmes uh, the garden party I don't know if I got this already I might have because like I said I did order doubles so these are the cut aparts okay and that is the back side um, this is from Prima the I got another one of the moon child collection galactic love because I just I love it I mean it's just so beautiful and I like the holographic foil on there so here's the back side um, this is from the new uh, Simple Stories, the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden. Love this. A farmer I will be <laughs> is what it says on there. And it, I guess it's a song. And then, oh, here we go. This is actually the side that I bought it for. Um, these are the cut aparts. And I love these vintage, um, like, seed packets. So I got two of them. And then I did pick up another one of the Moonchild collection. Let's get get lost. I can't even talk today. Let's get lost. So this one I can cut up. Okay. And you got the foil on the back. Um, this one is from. Well, it just says uh, copyrights scrapbook customs. I've never heard of this company, but, and it's only one-sided. Uh, this will go in my um, Japan insert because I'm still trying to finish um, putting together um, all the pictures from when I went to Japan in 2019. So I thought this would be good for a background. Yet another Moonchild collection, Lunar Peak. Okay, and then another one more cut aparts in love with the moon it's just beautiful okay so then I did get these now these are for um, full page layouts and you know I don't really do that but I figured I'd go ahead and get it anyways it wasn't that expensive and I really like um, I just like the look of it so I'll figure something out so I got Mount Fuji I did get Tokyo okay Hilarious, my battery went, <laughs> died. <laughs> and I was on the last sheet. Okay, so I went ahead and switched to another one. That's the downside to the Canon M50. Those batteries don't really last long. So any, anyways, I went ahead and um, got what I could find from the Capri collection for Prima. This I think was from by Frank Garcia. Um, it's the only one I could find and it, I really regret not getting uh, this collection when it first came out so it's just it's be it was a beautiful collection but I really got it for this side okay um, obviously Isla de Capri so um, yeah I don't know I'll try to figure something out with this so with my order one of the free items I think the free item that they had for that week when I made the order was this stamp um, by picket fence and um, I went ahead and chose this is the Karen girl now she she's no Karen okay she's just a very pretty and sweet Karen <laughs> Karen girl so I thought it was really cute and I love that she's holding um, a DSLR 
and then she's wearing glasses and she's got her hair up so yeah went ahead and picked this as my free gift very cute and then the last thing that i ordered um i've been seeing people using this on instagram and so i was finally able to f um, figure out you know what the company was that made the dye so this is from creative expressions it is um it's called shabby basics vintage slide now um this is what the dye looks like. Some people have been using this dye as a, what did they call it? Specimen, um, I guess like a specimen slide, basically. Um, so this right here is supposed to resemble like color slides. Um, back, in the, back in the 80s and the 90s, before digital, um, if you shot um, color film as far as like, well, how would you say you would sh you would shoot slide film basically and um when you would you know send it off to be processed you would get them back in um those little sl uh, s slide folders it's so funny because i worked in a photo lab for like three years and i can't even remember the terms anymore it's been that long um but we didn't process the color slides because that's a completely different process we did you know obviously like the c41 um, the, um, we did like just the basic 35 millimeter cam, you know, film, uh, color film. And there was only one black and white that we did, but it's not a true black and white. That was the Ilford, um, great. I can't even think of the name anymore. It's been that long. That could be processed, um, through the color process. But anyways, I'm getting off the point. So uh, when I saw these and I saw how people were using them, I was so intrigued that I had to get this. Uh, dye. So I'm excited to use it. Um, and maybe, you know, if I have the time to use it, then I'll go ahead and I'll try to show um, some examples. Probably post it on my Instagram. And if I'm in the mood, I'll do it on, you know, on YouTube. So yeah, this was my haul from uh, scrapbook.com. Uh, Probably be another while before I make an order because, you know, a lot of stuff had come out that I liked. So I usually try to wait until I have a lot of things that I want to get um, to kind of justify the shipping, you know. So, um, yeah, if there's any other, you know, really, really good um, collections that come out, I guess maybe in the, in the summer. Because I know most of them usually come out, the nice, the really good ones in the beginning of the year. And then I'll go ahead and get it. But, um, yeah, I do have a couple of more hauls that I've got to film. I've got another, um, small Michaels haul. I've got a Dollar Tree haul and I did purchase again from Tuesday morning, but I think it's too small to even really film. I might wait until next week. Cause if I go to another Tuesday morning, pick up some stuff that I can combine it. All right. So I hope you guys are having a great week. It is currently Wednesday, hump day. I'm so glad that the weekend is coming up because I'm really, really um, tired of going to work and dealing with patients. All right, so on to the next haul. Bye.